Just a minute. Yeah. We have a surprise for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, please. Thank you. Well, thank you all very much. I don't know how he knew I was there. I just got there. <laughs> well, Generally, people thank me for taking time out of, they put it as they put it, out of my busy day to spend time with them. And uh, knowing how busy you've all been, I think it's my turn to be thanking you for taking time out of your busy day to let me come around. With your help, we've put in place Graham Rudman Hollings. And uh, as you know, the legislation has altered the politics of the budget as well as the budget process. And I still think that there's more we can do, especially on the, the latter, the budget process. I think I share your frustrations when I say there isn't a state in the union that doesn't have a better budget process than the United States government. And I'm not talking about the tasks you do. I'm talking about what happens up on the Hill and the procedures that they go through in trying to arrive at a, at a budget. With your help and cooperation by Congress, we will find a better way. We have to. Graham Rudman Hollings gives us the support we need, I think, to achieve the reforms contained in the budget. We will not back away from necessary defense spending. We will not break our commitments to the poor and elderly. And we will not raise taxes. In short, what we will do is push Congress to adopt the excellent budget that you have developed. We will also push forward with management initiatives. This year, for the first time, the management report enclosed a personal message from me because I was proud to report on the accomplishments. And you have been instrumental in putting together our program to increase government productivity 20% by 1992. And I'll be counting on you to see that we achieve that goal. In conclusion, and coming to the end because I only just came by here is just to look in on you and have a chance to say thanks. Just let me, well, you know, please, how very much appreciated is all that you do in this horrendous task. And I know I keep expecting so much from you and I thank you for giving me a strong right arm. Now, once we can get this whole budget process squared away, maybe we can do something about Washington, D.C. when the snow falls. <laughs> <laughs> it's falling out there now, and I know how many are saying, you know, what about getting home tonight? <laughs> Ever since I've been here and seen what an inch of snow can do to the city, <laughs> uh, I think of that story about the young fellow that was telling his girl how much he loved her. And it's a little bit like Washington in the snow. He, he said, uh, I'd climb the highest mountain to be by your side. I'd swim the deepest ocean. I'll be over Thursday night if it doesn't rain. <laughs> so, well, God bless you all, and thank you very much. And uh, we'll keep battling for that budget that you've produced, because I think it's a darn good one, and it's a course that we should have been on 50 years ago. And we just weren't around here, many of us, at that time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, I shall put in a special request to Ed Dale. <laughs>